So, in December 2019, Mubad, a 27-year-old Nigerian songwriter, singer and rapper, was signed to Malian Records to begin his musical career professionally. For those who don't know him, this is one of his hit songs. <laughs> Mali Record is a Nigerian record label founded by Naira Mali, who is also a British Nigerian songwriter and singer. Now, Zinoleski, Fabian Blue, Emo Gray, C Black, and Mubad himself were the first group of artists signed on the record label. That was in 2019. They all lived like brothers until early 2022. Muba started having issues with his manager, Tunde, who is Naramali's brother, signed to the same record label. The details of the issues was never disclosed, just say. It was within the Naramali, the, the record label, it was within them. People outside the record label didn't know what was actually going on, except Nigerian artists who were close friends to the record label. So, because of the issues he was having with his manager, he reached out to the president of the record label, Naramali, that he wants to change his manager. That means it's going to be someone outside of the record label. That was when Aramadi be like, ah, but you, my brother, hold you down, son. Now when you blow up, where they can't get something too much up for your body, no. You say you want to leave the record label. This is impossible. And that was when the whole thing turned into an argument between the record label and Mubad himself. And according to Mubad, Naramali threatened his life after which he made his boys attack him. Let's watch this video. Kislin. Come on, mo. Yeah, 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 People started moving to the president, Naramali, that he should come out and say something about what his artist is talking about. But we know here from him. Months later, Mubad had another meeting with the record label, still insisting that he wants to change his manager. And according to him, the record label disagreed with his decision again, which led to an argument. And Naramali made his voice beat him up again. Just say, they just they assault the boy. That be according to the uh, Mubad, no. Naramali go threaten in life, they make him boys beat him up if you any time he talk about changing his manager. Let's watch this video. Kizlin. Famo So I don't know these people are behaving on me. They have been doing bad things on me. I went mad into because of this issue. Now they are trying to kill me. Everybody in your world, I beg if I die like this. My God, my God will never fuck me up. Never, never. I'm in Idado Estate. I'm in Idado. I'm in Estate. Don't let anybody near me. Don't let anybody know near me now. Now, when the second video of Mubad being beaten up again started circulating on social media, the fans got angry and started dragging Naramali again to come out and tell them what's actually going on. The pressure was too much, so this time around, he went live on Instagram to tell his side of the story. And according to him, Mubad is on drugs, so the fans shouldn't pay attention to him. He even added that Mubad started biting some of his boys, and he even showed what Mubad did to one of the boys, and so he showed it. Charlie, they say, Mubad had any vampire, and Okka can kofu. Mubad turned vampire where he bites bite people. Then some non fun non explanations be where normally they give. But I personally don't think I'm in the right position to judge this case. So let's watch the video and let me know what you think about this whole thing, about what Naramali said in the comment section. Kislin. So obviously, I'm getting a wise job. I'm not going to get a wise job. I'm not all the things, bro. Full out. Full out everything, bro. I will not let nothing happen to my body. I'm screaming, bro. Please. And nobody's going to touch him, bro. He's just biting everybody, bro. Do you understand? Like obviously, she, mama record them, but don't she be again? It's about this soon. It's just biting everybody, bro. But he said it's not high. I said, Mobad, what's high? Go in the car, bro. Normally, Mobad, not fight. He wants to fight in there. There's only one 
It's only him and one person. In your company, look for continue to watch that one. Today, no, 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 that one, no one. Look just for today. Oh Lord, I don't understand. I don't know me do this live shit, but I love you guys. Do you hear me? Because it comes back, you know what I mean? It comes back to the gang too. I don't, I don't really like doing this live shit, you know, times. That's why I didn't do the live shit the first time. He's screaming, people trying to kill him. But I don't get it. I don't know how to even explain the story that. But niggas from the streets, yeah? How can I speak? Let me speak pigeon. Niggas will come for streets, yeah? where they stay, they know. When they see someone high on shit, they know what's wrong with them. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, how a ton of blame, what? Papa. blame thing and shit. If my body didn't do a video on that, if my body didn't do a video, I wouldn't even bother explaining, but it's because it's nothing big, it's a family issue. But, obviously, it's obvious it's not in the right sense, like, it's obvious it's not in the right state of mind, bro, because why always him? And, uh, what happened? What did he say, Nayamali? What did he say, Nayamali? I was standing, what the, what the fuck would I touch my body or let anyone touch my body? The, the problem is, I don't have the butter, I'm give up my job, my job. Get inside! I want to lock on, lock on. I will go to Josie Bell, Josie Bell. I want to lock on. Yeah, what was that saying again? I don't know. Huh? Yeah, I don't even know how to explain the story, man. But obviously, there was a chat in the group chat. He said he wants to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't have to catch me. He said he wants to fucking change manager or something like that. Oh, uh, him and his manager is having an argument. His manager is not my brother. I don't know what he's saying. It's obviously probably high. But when he gets in the right state of mind, he's going to explain himself and apologize as usual. And um, whatever, he changed his manager, which is very fine with him and me. Then um, he came. He doesn't, he doesn't stay here, you know. He's, he's, moved, he's basically moved out for some reasons for his right state of mind. Then he came here. He saw me in the studio, he came with like four people, no, three, there was three of them, all together with him, four. He said yo to me, yo. So he said he doesn't even know how to explain the story and added that it's a family issue. And that's what's making me believe that there's something both of them are hiding from the fans. Because in an interview, Mobad refused to tell the media the inside part of the matter, why he wants to change his manager and the issues he's having with the record label. But he made this tweet to reply what Amali said about him being on drugs. Everything he said on the live video is a blatant lie. This isn't the first time. The last video was made out to look like I was high or overreacting. My life is being severely threatened. And he added, I'm not intoxicated, but I've just been diagnosed as an, an emergency hypertensive patient. I'm not on drugs or drinks. And my life is at stake. I'm still getting threats. That was in October 2022, after Naramali said he's on drugs and biting his voice. Okay, so in October 2022, Mubad left the record label, but later came out to say he's still receiving threats from the Malian camp. And he even made a video telling the world that if he dies, they should hold Naramali accountable for it because he's threatening his life. Now, this is the video he made. Kislein. So I don't know if people are behaving on me. Now they are trying to kill me. Everybody in the world, please help me if I die. Whoa. Amali, I'm even now. Amali, kill me. So I don't know these people are behaving on me. They have been doing bad things on me. Now they are trying to kill me. Everybody in the world, please help me if I die. Whoa. Amali, I'm even now. Amali, kill me. So yesterday, a news broke that Mobad is dead. And the cause of the death, they are be brave. Some are saying he was hit with a juju, a black magic at a show in Lagos, which affected his ear. So that's what killed him. Whilst others are saying he died because of drug abuse. Some are even saying it's depression. But when the news broke, his fans started moving to Naramali's comment session with cases because he ever told his fans say, when he dies, they should hold Naramali accountable for it. And these were some of the comments that went to Naramali's comment session. Did you kill Mubad? Another one said, you don't kill Mubad, hope you're happy now. And this one too said, if you know about Mubad's death, you will never know peace till you die. Another one said, say you are happy now. 
And this one said, Naira, if you have hands in Mubaz Demis, I pray for you. Your own case, your daughter and your son won't live up to 27. Your joy will turn into ashes in your mouth. You will look for tears and you won't say it. Your kids will be worth more dead than alive to you. Them, with some broken heart emojis. Hey, Charlie. This one also said, She be on a donkey mobad, when her face don't clear. Okay. So that was the comment section. Very hard to normally more comments they come in comment section because Mubad and fans they think say he has something to do with it. So far as the boy told say make make you hold Naramali accountable if he died there. Like there's no two ways about it. So that's where they have to go. They have to question him. So Naramali needs to come out and tell the fans what happened, like what they go on. Or they for do autopsy. I think that'd be the best thing. Yeah. That is what has happened. But the main cause of their death is not out yet. So I advise you how to subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications from this channel because I'll be bringing you major updates on this issue. Now, this was how Bena Boy received the news and how he reacted. Kislin, famo <laughs>